all the ugh. I don't know why I'm acting so weird today. I think I'm shy because I haven't seen you guys in a while. I don't know how to act a little bit. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Ophenta and I am your book bay, honey. Book bay in the building. And you know what to do, you know what to be. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you are returning an OG, you know, one of the real ones, hi, hello, how are you doing? Um, I <laughs> took a break from social media for a very long time because I felt like I was being triggered in terms of recent events, both locally in South Africa and on an international scale. But one thing I was trying to keep on tabs with is what's been happening in the booktube community. Now, I'm not going to speak so much about this because this video is actually about this book, but I think it's important to speak about, say something because I am a black woman and my politics are clear. You know, a lot of the booktubers were speaking, specifically now black booktubers, were speaking about how um, black people have been under represented in this community and how we're not necessarily given as much access as other booktubers i can't speak on that because i literally started this channel at the beginning of this year but um just hearing other booktubers speak about that that was kind of upsetting for me because it just made me think that in south africa the booktube community isn't necessarily as big as um overseas in your americas or the united kingdom but i hope to see growth and with that more representation um, really. So, let's get into the review. In this week's video, we are reviewing Celestial Bodies, written by Jakar al -Harty. And this book is actually, like, if you follow me on social media, Authentic MDK, you will see that this has actually been my favorite book that I've reviewed, that I've read this entire journey, starting in February up until now. Um, it's uh, written by a Omani woman and she is brilliant. She actually holds a PhD in classic Arabic poetry from the University of Edinburgh and she's written 10 books. Two of those are child children's books, which was really cool. I love to see people who are not afraid to kind of venture out into something different, something that is not necessarily what they're known for. So uh, this book was really well written. Like I said, definitely my favorite book that I have read this year, this journey. So um, shout out to Jakar al Harti and thank you for this book because I am obsessed. Um, so this book is basically about three sisters and how they navigate marriage. Uh, the book actually tracks over three different generations. So we start with um, their mother's generation and then we go to the three girls and then we go to their children. So the book is written in the first person narrator where we get insight into the different characters and what they actually think and um so the different chapters are broken up in terms of who's right who's actually speaking at that point we have the elder sister maya who gets married to a man that she's not in love with and um, she has three children with him and it kind of speaks about how she was so madly in love with this one man that she really just wished that can i just see this man again she just wasn't able to marry him and then the marriage proposal came from abdallah who ends up being her husband and she has three children with london muhammad and salim i really felt for her when she got married to abdallah because she really wasn't in love with him at all but he is so madly in love with her that's i think the narrative tension that uh, comes from these two characters and then we have the second board her name is asma and asma is just a romantic asma is my girl she is obsessed with education and reading and bettering yourself and just being you know that girl she gets married to a man by the name of khalid this book is so well written like I know I say that often, but I really was stuck. I was just, my breath was taken away. So, and that's the second sister, Asma. And then we have the third sister, Kolwa, who is promised, like in her younger years, before even the age of 12, she falls for a distant relative of hers, Nasir. And Nasir is trash. <laughs> he promises his love to her as a child, and then he grows up into a man and goes and studies in Canada. He drops out of school 
and ends up in a relationship with this Canadian girl. However, his family kind of disowns him and says, you know, we don't want anything to do with you. You are not um, making the family proud. You are a disgrace to us, yada, yada, yada. But his mom continues to secretly send him money while he's in Canada. And then once his mom passed away, then he has to come back and he, there's a clause, so the mom has a will where he, she left him a large sum of money, but that large sum of money is contingent on the fact that he marries Kola. And Kola is so happy because she, in the book, has turned out many suitors, over 10 suitors, because she wants to be with Nasir. And he ends up treating her badly. Um, a lot happens in terms of that. So basically, these three women, three sisters, grew up in the same household, but they all have very different marriages. and. Uh, I would definitely recommend this book to any and everybody. I loved it because I could relate to every character and the way that they were written was so, so real. And that's something that um, I really appreciated out of the book and I get why it won the Man Booker and International Prize in 2019. Uh, so I will definitely be looking forward to reading more books by El Hati. She is everything and more. So she writes from a perspective of being an Omani woman herself and that is definitely present in the book. This book was translated from Arabic into English by another person. She wrote it though, and originally the title translates from Arabic directly into English as Ladies of the Moon. Another character that I really loved in the book is Abdallah. Abdallah is Maya's husband, the eldest daughter's husband, and he is really explored in the book. He has a father who is kind of was involved in the slave trade and just speaking about his experiences and his mother who mysteriously disappeared i uh, won't say how and why i think that's something that you can find out after reading the book but um his character was really raw and real and it also engaged in ideas of masculinity when it comes to culture and that type of thing what's expected he has a very strained relationship with his father who is both I would say emotionally and physically abusive so with his trauma from his childhood and things like that it just shows how he deals with that what he thinks of certain things how that affects his parenting to his three children and then we also have his daughter who also gets married to someone who does not treat her well at all he's all about the flights of fancy and I think that um, in the book the author kind of indicates that he married her for her money because she comes from a very wealthy family and but I did mention on my social media that right now I'm reading the 5am um, club as well as Celeste Ng's Little Fires Everywhere lots of exciting things happening on this channel and just about this channel surrounding this channel so i definitely will do a lot more about that and let you know sooner once i can talk about some of the things but keep watching keep liking keep commenting keep sharing and keep subscribing bye for now